Right, good day folks, Iceman here, just doing a quick um, operational video on the Desert Eagle 44 Magnum. Um, I just wanted to give an overview of how this pistol operates for anybody who's interested. Um, they may have or may not have seen how this pistol actually functions. Uh, this is a 44 Magnum burnt bronze MRI made in USA Desert Eagle. I have the Israeli military industries uh, Desert Eagle also in 44 mag in, in brush chrome. But we'll just quickly go through this, just do a quick safety check. Gun is clear, there's no nothing in the chamber and there is no magazine in the firearm. So, pinky check. Right, essentially how this pistol operates is very straightforward but quite unique. So this is a short stroke gas operated handgun firing a rimmed cartridge. It is um, the only type that I know of that does fire a rimmed cartridge in an automatic, semi-automatic handgun in the, in the world and it's an iconic pistol as most people have seen them in uh, movies or in computer games. Anyway, um, how does it work? That's the question, how does it work? Essentially the, the pistol uses a rotating bolt assembly which is similar to an AR-15. You can see if I pull that back in there you can just see the bolt rotate out as I let go of it. That locks up into a set of locking lugs which are up in here in the breech area and if you look closely down at the six o'clock position down in here there you'll see a little gas plug block there that's where the uh, gas channel is and that runs the entire length of the bottom of the barrel to the very muzzle then it takes a 90 degree turn here it comes down into the actual gas um, bore down in here. Now you'll be able to see the gas piston there down inside. That's that's attached or pushed into or mounted inside the slide itself. So the sequence of firing is the hammer would be dropped, the weapon fires around about here underneath the projectile the gas is tapped off and the, the gas system is charged um, the gas has travelled down, down, down the bottom of the barrel, along the bottom of the barrel in a 2 mil diameter channel down into here where the gas piston is sitting inside a bore and then they push the piston back as you can see and then it reloads another round um, just quickly take it down and show you the gas piston, the bore and piston, there is the gas pistons or there hard to get it in focus with but anyway there's a small hole right at the very back of it which uh, bleeds the gas in and that pushes on the front of that which is the gas piston itself as you can see it's uh, just mounted into the front of the slide but it's a separate component and uh, can be removed for, for cleaning um, down inside you'll see the recoil spring assemblies and there's the bolt close up you can see the ejector, extractor, these are quite punishing on um, brass, um, they're notorious for leaving quite heavy indentations on, on the brass on extraction. Um, it's a very, very severe and abrupt extraction injection, as you can imagine with that much gas behind it. So, once the gas system has the dwell time has um, 
uh, gone by, the, the gas bleeds off and usually escapes out the front here and leaves a lot of dirty marks and you'll get a lot of powder marks around here as normal. So that is a Desert Eagle uh, and very quickly on how it works. Um, the only short stroke gas operated hand semi-automatic handgun in the world in production, still in production. Um, there were other uh, semi-automatic handguns, um, gas operated handguns similar like the um, Wildy and the um, uh, what else was there? There was the Wildy, there's this one and there's also a uh, Automag. The good old Automag, if I could get my hands on an Automag, wow, that would be a collector's item. So, that's it basically guys. hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was informative for anybody who's interested in how this particular platform operates. Cheers.